Hi, I'm Dr. M. Kamakshaya, open source software evangelist and also a freelance uh, full stack developer, academic of data science and analytics. Um, I'm creating a series of uh, webcasts on VBA programming for data science and analytic applications, analytics applications. In my previous video, I explained uh, uh, how to deal with uh, conditional statements and loops. In this uh, video cast, I'm going to explain how to compute one sample T distribution, something like the T test. Um, as far as my knowledge is concerned, I think we don't have one sample T distribution. I think whenever you use T test, it is a two sample T test. You have two, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> you have two different types of two sample T test, independent sample T test, paid sample T test is something like that but as far as my knowledge is concerned I don't think you have univariate sample t-test uh, in this video I'm going to show you uh, this is where exactly VBA is going to help us writing the functions and subroutines so in this video I'm going to show you how to write the subroutine for t-test I mean univariate or one sample t-test uh, in my conse consequent uh, I mean in my next video I'm going to show you how to write the uh, function and uh, so that we can calculate the t-test inside a worksheet so without much uh, description uh, uh, let me straight away go to the VBA uh, but uh, one more small you need to know what is the t-test uh, we are going to compute this uh, ratio to, to, to find out the t-value for a given sample distribution this is a sample is the random numbers that that's all the, 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 the imagine that this this is a sample and this sample is available inside excel and we need to compute this uh, ratio to calculate the t, t t statistic in this video i'm going to show you how to test this code okay we are just going to write the subroutine in testing environment something like that and next uh, video i'm going to show you how to write the function so once we are thorough testing t uh, statistic and then we can develop a function for the same processes so let me start if we go and write the i'm going to develop the subroutine i call it as my t test something like that and now that data so you see this data is in uh, spreadsheet now i need to define a range um, dim range as range and now i'm going to make use of uh, worksheet functions I need uh, if we you if you look uh, carefully this t value is calculated by dividing the difference between the sample mean and the shown mean by um, standard error and standard error is nothing but the ratio of the standard deviation over square root of sample size so now I'm going to first uh, compute the the difference I mean the numerator for that I need a mean I call it as my mean. My mean is I'm going to make use of the worksheet functions. Worksheet uh, function average. We have a beautiful worksheet function called average over this range. Uh, I forgot to initiate the range set range is equal to range. We have our values a to a ten. So we need to declare that range here. So definition, defining the, declaring the range, uh, defining the range and s we define the range and we also set up the range uh, for a variable uh, RNG. Uh, and now we computed the mean over that range. Now let me compute the standard error. Uh, and I keep the assumed mean, my uh, mean, mean, we don't need to define assumed mean. Uh, we are unnecessarily okay now let me uh, test my code if we if at all we computed this mean did we really um, create uh, this variable my mean or not for that what I do I use a debug print my mean okay now let's go and check yes it is working in case if you are doubtful about this now we can go somewhere we just computed average 
now let's do that inside you see 2.9 same 2.9 you find here okay now let's go ahead and uh, compute the uh, standard deviation I think uh, we can straight away go for the standard error okay for the sake of simplicity first I uh, define standard deviation we can also do it straight away and and compute the standard error standard error is uh, standard deviation divided by square root of n so I'll do that in two different steps worksheet function standard deviation over range and now uh, standard error is going to be my standard deviation divided by worksheet function there is uh, a procedure called power function power within oh power uh, my uh, this should be n point five, which means we are rising the sample size n over uh, to the degree of 0.5 which means square root of n now we need to close this parenthesis but we missed a n right we are let us go ahead and let worksheet I'm just using worksheet functions for function count range over range so we computed mean by using a worksheet function average. We computed standard deviation by using worksheet function STDV. And we computed n, which is the sample size, by using count. And finally, we computed standard error. Now we are going ahead. I by any, I mean, during your program, uh, progress, if you want to test your values, I mean, if you get any doubt that whether you really had computed your values or not then you can simply suppose if I put my n here and let's see if if at all I had computed this value or not place your cursor somewhere in the program you see we got 10 and now let me replace this n with uh, my standard deviation and now let me press you see we got the standard deviation something like that so this debug print is highly useful for you to see if you had done uh, your uh, I mean uh, calculations properly or not um, now we are going finally uh, we are going end of the program and computing t value and the t value is going to be uh, my mean minus assumed mean I mean assumed mean is going to be zero and then uh, standard error so that is the and now finally let us eject our t value well, let's see if at all we computed i delete everything and then keep your cursor somewhere inside the program and then press run button this is the t value now if you want to check your t value go here into the program and then whether whether you have done properly or not uh, do it manually uh, average okay this range minus 0 divided by standard deviation of this divided by square root of uh, 10 okay since we know this we don't need to now when you press you see the value 6.0 one seven nine something same value you'll find here in immediate window okay this way um, we can uh, we can think of writing creating functions it is not a function subroutine you can just uh, test you can pick up some statistical methods and test inside VBA uh, once you are thorough of the logic that this logic is working for us so we can now go ahead and create a function um, this is for this video and my next video I'm going to show you how to write the function. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned to the no new content. Don't forget to subscribe to my video channel. Thank you.